the past few years, it's been one big party for the Mugabe boys. Like millions of their compatriots, South Africa became their chosen refuge, but for very different reasons. Robert Mugabe Jr., the taller one on the right, here with his brother, Bellamine Chitunga. Check the shoes. For the offspring of ousted President Robert Mugabe and his big spending wife, known as Gucci Grace, it's been a dizzying life of excess. A constant cascade of expensive champagne, beautiful women, and boundless bling. With the Mugabe family assets estimated at over a billion pounds, Johannesburg was the closest playground in their international empire. But what now for the Mugabe sons? Are their party days, the good times, finally over? In the days after President Mugabe was ousted, his sons dropped off the radar in Johannesburg's big spending party scene. But I managed to catch up with some of those in their network. This is Serge, who describes himself as the number one international blesser. If you like, a godfather of the party scene, he invited me to see how they roll and was soon washing his hands with champagne, costing hundreds of pounds. Just days before their father was ousted, Serge was with the Mugabe boys when they baptized their obscenely expensive luxury watches with premium champagne, provoking outrage when the scene was posted on Instagram. You see the Mugabe boys, they feel to enjoy their money, they feel to wash, to, to show people that they're wearing a very expensive watch, they decided to watch, uh, to throw a champagne and, and the watch to show you that he, that watch is not a fake. If they feel they want to do that, they want to show people they're eating money. They, it's their own money because I don't see anything wrong with that. Just to prove a point, Serge washed his own expensive watch with champagne for the cameras. The woman pouring the champagne, Nadia, knows the Mugabe boys well. It's amazing. It's the same scene that you've seen today. It's everybody's popping champagnes, there's golds around, everybody's dancing, having a great time, and everyone wants to be the Mugabe boys. <laughs> everyone wants to meet the Mugabe everyone boys. Everyone wants to be the Mugabe boys. Oh yeah? Why is that? <laughs> because you've, if you have partied with them in the club, you would see it. But some of those who've joined the Mugabe boys at play have seen another side. Gabriella Engels, a model, ended up partying with the boys at a hotel last August. Their mother, Grace Mugabe, suddenly appeared. Engels has dramatically changed her appearance since the incident. This woman just like stormed in with a black extension cord, wrapped around her head and like a bunch of guys, big guys, at the back of her. She demanded us to tell her where her son was. She called, where's Bella? We kept telling them we don't know. And then she came back and then she started assaulting us. Did she say anything? Did she ask you? She well? was absolutely quiet. She just started beating us. Can you describe where she hit you? She hit me on my forehead and on two places at the back of my head. Grace Mugabe never arrived at the court hearing before receiving diplomatic immunity. She denies any wrongdoing and painted herself as the victim. For the boys, the parties just rolled on. Gabriella was in their circle long enough to witness the wanton extravagance. They buy a lot of champagne, like just champagne, and they like go around like they own the club. Like each of them will have like two, three bottles of champagne in their hand and that's how they party. The table was full of champagne. We left the club and there was like still four bottles of champagne. I'm sure after this whole thing that happened with their father, they're going to be real humble. I hope for their sake that they are, because, wow. <laughs> and if not, what do you think might happen? Mm, I don't even want to think about what might happen, because, like, a lot of people don't like them. Not far from the clubs where the brothers host their champagne fueled parties, the Rolls Royces glide by in the upmarket neighborhood of Sandhurst. Here, it's the servants who walk the dogs. This is the house which Grace Mugabe recently reportedly bought for close to two and a half million pounds. Security cameras are all around. It's one of many properties the family allegedly owns around the world. 
This one sits close to the glitzy Santon City shopping mall, where the boys have been known to shop till they drop and keep on shopping. It's been reported that while Daddy was still in charge of Zimbabwe, the son's pocket money was tens of thousands of pounds a month. Life is considerably gloomier on the other side of Johannesburg. Yeovil is the neighborhood hub for desperate Zimbabweans forced to come here to search for work after their economy collapsed under Mugabe's rule. These Zimbabwean vegetable vendors scrape by on just three pounds a day. We met a woman who came to Johannesburg three years ago to work as a tailor so she could support her kids. Most people around here in South Africa, they are not doing well. They are suffering. They are pushing trolleys, picking from the dusty bins. They don't even have accommodation. They don't have jobs. They don't have food. And yet someone, just one single family, can splash around champagne, can buy a 45 million grand house in South Africa. It really, really, you know, it's so painful. For a, for a common Zimbabwean, it's very, very painful. They should take away all that they gave to those boys. The money, because the state is paying that. It's not the Mkabe who's paying, it's the state. So our father's money that was taken as pension is the one that is paying those boys to have that life. They are not feeling the, the things that we are feeling here. Those guys, the, the way they spend money, oh, it's very bad. They must freeze their account. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. And take that money and take it back to Zim. Because those people, like, they've got houses here in Sandest, in San Sim. Yeah. But I don't think those guys, they will change. Perhaps he's right. After all, while I was in Johannesburg, reports came through that President Robert Mugabe's family had been granted immunity, plus a seven and a half million pound golden handshake. So what of the boys and the well-heeled parties on the other side of town? Was it time for the party brothers to start popping again? I'd had rumours that they might appear at a swanky nightclub. I came across their friend Nadia. Through a screen, I could make out Bellamine Chitunga, surrounded by an adoring entourage. Bottle after bottle of champagne arrives, and guests were soon pouring it over each other. The party day's over. Not likely, it seems. 